Hello everyone. Myself Dr. Kausar, Assistant Professor of Computer Science, welcome you all to session 1 of System Software and Operating Systems course. The session 1 is on introduction to system software and machine architecture. Before we understand what a system software is, it is important that we know what software is. In the previous semesters, we have learned that software is a set of programs which are designed to perform a well defined function when i mention programs we should know a program is a sequence of instructions which are written to solve a particular problem coming to types of softwares there are two types of softwares the first is system software and the second type is the application software coming to system software System software can be formally defined as collection of programs which are designed to operate, control and extend the processing capabilities of the computer itself and system softwares are generally prepared by the computer manufacturers. Also, system software serve as the interface between the hardware and the end users. Let us learn about some of the examples of system softwares which are uh, popularly used on the day-to-day -day basis on our computers and smartphones. Text editors uh, is one popular system software and we also have assemblers, compilers, loaders and linkers which we learn in detail in this course in the later uh, videos. Debuggers uh, which we have come across when we did C programming are another important uh, system softwares followed by microprocessors then operating systems is another crucial system software which is a part uh, of all the smartphones as well as computers without which your uh, computers and smartphones cannot function database management systems which have become a part and parcel of our lives is also another important system software and also software engineering tools are some of the popular system softwares Text editors help us to create and modify a program. Compilers and assemblers are system softwares which are used to translate programs into machine language. We have come across the C compiler. Loaders and linkers take the resulting machine program and then load it into memory and then prepare them for execution. The debuggers help detect errors in a program. Now that we learned about system software, let us move on to its counterpart, the application software. Application softwares may consist of a single program such as a Microsoft's notepad for writing and editing a simple text or it may also consist of collection of programs which are often called a software package. Let us see various examples of application softwares. Some of the most popular examples include the payroll softwares which are uh, used for salary generation uh, in various uh, organizations followed by student record software which is uh, used by various institutions. Inventory management software is used in various uh, supermarkets. Income tax software uh, are used by uh, auditors etc. Then the railway reservation software, uh, our IRCTC is another important example of application software followed by the Microsoft Office suit which we use on a day to day basis which uh, contains many other uh, packages like the Microsoft Word, Excel and PowerPoint. In this figure 1.1 there is a comparison between application software and one system software that is the operating system. So in this image you can see the various uh, applications that we have installed on our mobile phones like the YouTube, WhatsApp or the games that you play or Twitter all these are application softwares and on to the right hand side you have uh, operating system which is one important system software uh, here from the symbols you can see uh, the Mac OS, the iOS, 
and the windows and the android operating system that is installed on your smartphones so all these are operating systems which is a system which are examples of system softwares and on to your left you have the application softwares so the major difference that you can see like i have already mentioned earlier it is that the operating systems are installed from the manufacturers end and these application softwares are installed depending on the user's need so your phone should will come in pre-installed with an android os but it will it is not necessary that it comes pre-installed with the games you are interested in playing or various applications that you are interested in downloading then moving on to the concept of system software the system programs are programs used to program the operating system software this system software controls the internal functioning of a computer and also the peripherals like monitors printers and storage devices in the figure 1.2 shown below we can see the pyramid of system programming foundation so in this pyramid at the topmost level you have users or people which interact with the application programs which are internally interacting with the various system softwares like compilers assemblers macro processors loaders text editors etc which internally make use of input output programs file systems schedulers libraries memory management and device management features so this is about the pyramid of system programming foundation here we are uh, inter interested in third and uh, fourth step of this uh, pyramid that is the compilers assemblers macro processors and loaders this course is all about understanding about compilers assemblers loaders etc now let us learn about the machine structure here when you have to understand about the machine structure the term memory is of importance the term memory refers to a device where information is stored and processors are the devices which operate on this information which is stored in the memory the information the processor operate on can be viewed as being stored in the form of zeros and ones we have learned in the previous semester that computer understands only zeros and ones so they are stored in the memory in the form of zeros and ones so uh, for the computer to understand the language of the user which is high level language the english language we need various system softwares like uh, compilers assemblers and various other translators so each of these zeros and ones is nothing but a binary digit called bit in short so these bits can be grouped in units called bytes characters or words and this machine structure is shown below in this figure 1.3 here you can see that memory is the crucial part which comes in the topmost uh, part of the figure which is being accessed by various input output processors cpus etc and uh, these uh, input output processors also make use of various uh, devices like the card reader the punch uh, disk or drum printers teletypes etc these memory locations that we discussed about are specified by addresses where each address identifies a specific byte character or a word the contents of this byte character or word may be interpreted as data or instructions and processor is a device that performs sequence of operations specified by the instructions which reside in memory and these uh, this memory may be considered as a mail mailboxes which contain groups of ones and zeros so with this we come to the end of the session 1 in this session we have learnt about uh, what a software is types of softwares that is system software and op uh, and also application uh, softwares and we have learnt in detail about various examples of uh, system and application softwares followed by the system software in particular and also the pyramid of system programming architecture and also about the various uh, components which are il involved in this machine structure so with this uh, i end this session 1 thank you for your patient listening